fashion is all about the here and now. What's a must-have one year can look extremely dated the next. Go back on the fashion timeline for a look at some of yesterday's most memorable collections with the year in fashion. Two thousand and four was marked by continued war in Iraq and Afghanistan, as well as the re-election of President George W. Bush. We sadly lost screen legend Marlon Brando, and we scoured the tabloids for news of Britney Spears' wedding. With both love and war in the air, fashion responded with a range of looks from the boudoir to the more conservative. See highlights from several young designers who brought back a new sophistication. And see the hottest trends of 2004 from spring retro's 20s glamour to winter's prim and pretty looks. Refreshingly feminine. I really love the full skirts with the knit jackets. I thought that was very chic, very new look. Somehow retro modern. Christopher Bailey deftly updated the hallmarks of Burberry. Alexander McQueen's interpretation of a Depression-era film classic was the fashion moment of the year. And the girls were dancing. I mean, they went out of their way to give us such a great performance. And it was just one of the best shows I think we've seen all season. Meet the most promising newcomer of 2004, London's Giles Deacon. And meet three doe-eyed new beauties who dolled up the runways. Bags, brooches, boots, and bows made up the best baubles of 2004. Mark Jacobs and Donna Karen celebrated their 20th anniversaries. I can't believe that it's 20 years. When I thought about it today, I was like, oh my God, because it seems to have gone by so quickly. We bid a sad farewell to provocative photographer Helmut Newton and say hello and goodbye to the designers who took the reins at major fashion houses and those who took their final bow. There's a lot of musical chairs going on at the moment in fashion.